Learn all the Figma shortcuts by going to the Help and Resources Center or by clicking Command plus Shift plus question mark. But overall in this video, we're gonna try to go over some super duper helpful keyboard shortcuts that can help you work super duper fast in Figma. I'll try to go over some of the more unknown keyboard shortcuts in this video so you actually learn something instead of just learning the true basic shortcuts. Let's get right into the second tip. If you press any of the numbers on the keypad, it'll directly change the opacity on whatever object, font, or image you're on. So for example, if I click the number two, then it'll change it to 20% opacity. But if I type in 23, then it'll change the opacity to 23%. Now that's super helpful to just do it really quickly on your keyboard instead of having to go over to the opacity channel and changing it there. That's just a really, really easy way to do that. Number three is the option or the ability, should I say, to change all the layer names at once. Now this is super easy to do. All you need to do is select the layers that you wanna rename and hit Command R or right click and then click rename. Now you'll get a pop-up that allows you to change a few settings here and there, but you can just literally type in anything and it'll change the name of all the layers that you've selected. This comes really in handy when you're just doing a project that's really fast and you want to do a massive change to a lot of layers instead of going back one by one and having to just manually override every single layer. This has been super helpful to me so many times when I'm working with clients and I want it to be kind of polished when I'm showing them a project or I'm sharing the Figma files. So this is a really, really good thing to keep in mind. Number four is a new one that I just learned recently or they recently released actually it's if you hold a command and you use the mouse to change the size of an image you can then use that to crop an image so you no longer have to double click go into the crop section and actually manually move everything together you can just hold command and move your mouse and that will change the crop now again this is just super fast and it's such a faster way to crop things instead of going into the actual crop center and having to deal with all of that this is just a really really slim way of doing it number five a really easy way to tidy up a lot of objects that you have lying around your frame is by clicking Control Option T or you can go in to the bottom right and you'll see that there is actually an icon that you can manually click with your mouse and it'll actually just manually tidy up everything. Now again, this is a shortcut that I don't think a lot of people know about, but it's super easy to do if you have a bunch of objects that you need to get organized. Number six is a tip that I use all the time and it's super helpful. If you do Command Tab, like you're in a Chrome tab or Safari tab, it will actually change whatever tab you're in. So if you quickly wanna change between your preview tab and your working tab, or if you wanna to go to the home tab and check out any different files, then instead of having to manually go with your mouse, you can just do Command Tab or actually click Command one, two, or three, depending on whatever tab you obviously wanna to go to. But that's just a really quick way that you can just switch over with tabs. Number seven is one that saved my life just a couple of times. If you do Command and dot or a period on your keyboard, it'll hide all the panels on the side and make it a really clean experience when you're presenting to a client or a friend or a colleague or whoever you need to present to. Now when you do this it absolutely just changes the entire experience and it makes it look like you're a lot more professional and you have all the right tools and all the right ideas instead of just kind of showing what you're working with in Figma. It's a lot more like presenting a presentation or your portfolio or something like that because you don't have those panels anymore so it's a lot more professional I would say. If you use the alt keys it helps you find the distance between objects so if you have a couple of objects and you actually want to get it the right distance between all of them then using just the alt key or the option key on a Mac to kind of see the distance between them it makes it really easy to be really consistent with your designs. Also if you want to find the distance between an object and the end of the frame or the end of the screen then you can just use option and you can kind of see the distance between those two elements. Number nine if you have a lot of objects on your screen and you kind of want to see where all of them went and you can't really see through them because they're really layered on top of each other use the shortcut command Y. That will allow you to see through all of the layers at once and you can kind of get a top-down view of of everything that's on screen. The only thing about this that I haven't really figured out yet is that you can't really click through those layers. So you can't do like you would in Illustrator and use Command Y to then pick out a single element and then shift them to the top to then get it back to a working state, right? You can't really get them back up. If anyone in the comments knows how to do this, then please do let me know. Lastly is one that not a lot of people know, but it's actually really, really common and it's actually right here in the tab to begin with. If you press K, you don't need to press Command or anything, just K, it allows you to scale everything Thing uniformly. So you know when you select something and you just click the little dot on the right side or the left side and you try to scale things and it doesn't work? Well, guess what? You need to 
use the function K or scale. That allows you to grab as many things as you want. You press K and then you can just scale everything together and it changes the font sizes, the images. It keeps all the gradients together. It's just a great way to uniformly scale things in Figma. If you want to know more about Figma shortcuts and plugins, then make sure that you watch the next video because I have a long list of plugins for you there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.